Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and South Node. Okay, so we're going to start off by pulling a Romance Age Oracle card just to see what the theme of your message will be. Okay, Aquarius. Please give me a message for Aquarius. All right, that's your message. All right, I feel like y'all message is in reverse. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, it says you deserve love, but it's in reverse. You're lovable in reverse. Let me see what else they want to add to this. Y'all might. Are some of you guys making it difficult for people to uh, be able to interact with you? Pay attention to the red flags, y'all. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, some of you, you might want to start paying attention to the way you're doing things. Mm. You might be running things away from you. Things that you actually deserve. The way either you're showing up or you're doing things. Uh, okay. I feel like some of you have heard certain things more than once from several different people. And you're probably not picking it up. Okay. So the love that you deserve is not, it's not ready yet. It's almost like you're not at a point where you can receive it yet. Aquarius, let's take a look and see here. I mean, this could be the person you're dealing with, okay? Those can be reversed, but I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of cross watchers watching. So let's take a look. Please give me a message for Aquarius. have cards falling here. Whoa, your overall energy is the emperor. Um there's something that either you feel has you don't have control over or it has a lot of control over you. It's something is limiting you, I feel here. Three of Wands, it's limiting what's supposed to already be yours. It's like something you're waiting on. It's taking a long time to arrive here. Three of Wands, something you deserve. I feel like this has been on its way to you for a while. It just has not arrived. Um, you, you need to step up in a different way. You need to realize you have control over whatever this is that has assumed role over you. This is an assumption. Um, and you may, you may be giving up your power, Aquarius. Someone may feel like they got power over you. You don't have to let that put that down. Ten of Wands, this is a heavy load to carry. It's... um. It looks pretty light here, though. So some of you are carrying this by choice. You may feel like, eh, it's not that heavy. Some of y'all probably thought that when I said it. Okay, well, this is a choice to carry something around. It may not be heavy, but it's an inconvenience because your hands are tied up here. Okay? This card was falling. It was trying to fall out. I was like, let me grab this. It's your card. The star. This is your card. It was trying to fall out the deck. Almost like trying to get away from you. <laughs> What's going on? Y'all message is coming up here in a very coded way. I'm going to keep going. Because this is you showing up in your element. In your spread. In your reading. But it's trying to get away. And it's sitting right next to this. And this is something trying to come to you. Something you've been waiting on. You've been fishing for. 
There's things you're carrying around. You may not feel like it's um it's a hindrance, but it is. Okay, the world is here. It's uh it's blocking you from completing a cycle. Okay, it's actually taking away your power, Aquarius. It's taking away what you deserve. Pay attention to the red flags, y'all. Pay attention. Uh, lack of action. Some of you might have somebody who's not um, stable in your life or someone who may cause instability for you. Someone could be in and out, back and forth. This, uh -uh. this is somebody who... Um, they cause chaos in your life. I'm getting toxicity here. Um, the, the physical connection may be strong. The interaction between you, I feel like it's very um, impulsive. It's like fiery ups and downs could be good one second the next second it's not it's like weird here this is arguing only because you want to have makeup sex in a sense like almost like you like the chaos because you know what comes right after it's, it's it's setting you out of your element there's there's that kind of unhealthiness here Blocking something of value from coming in that's been trying to come in. You're going to have to learn to uh, stand in your truth. You might have to start observing things in a non-emotional way. You need to start depending on your logic a little more here, Aquarius. Yep, that's when you become who you are. The star is here again. This is like... You deserve this. You do deserve love. But not yet. There's something you're not realizing about yourself. Let me clarify you, actually. You're not paying attention to red flags. I, I hate to say somebody doesn't deserve love. I mean, that's ridiculous. The star. Why is the star here? Because, look. fortune it's like something is supposed to be happening for you to help you close a cycle and get to a new one but there's something you're holding on to there's some stubbornness y'all are fixed energy it's some kind of you there's something you just refuse to let go of or refuse to see about yourself i'm getting a very very stubborn energy here blocking things from happening how it's supposed to some of you are stuck in your ways Stuck in your ways. Stuck in your ways. You or somebody you're dealing with. And it causes a very um, fiery kind of thing here. Look at this. Four swords. All right. If you're experiencing like a break in the connection... Just know that's for a reason. They're trying to get you to collect yourself. Go within. Clear your mind, I guess, so that you can start seeing and realizing what the red flags are. And stop leaving yourself to hang. Some of you, this is self-sacrifice here. You're hanging. The hang man. Nothing happens. This is stalled energy. This is delays on getting the wheel turning. Guys, this is not good. This is stuck energy, not closing a cycle, blocking you from what you deserve. Yeah, your victory. You deserve to be recognized. I mean, you're a star. That's your sign and it's here twice. This is that victory. This is you being rejoiced, being recognized, forgiving yourself, giving yourself to a cause. Okay, sharpen up these knives for real. Nine of swords, nine of uh, 
knives here. This is not somebody who sits around uh, with their head, their head in their hands. No, this is not. This is somebody who gets up and like, uh-uh. Let me get my uh, weapons ready. Let me sharpen my mind. Let me clear my mind. Yes. So you can remove this stuck energy. Okay. So major shifts, major changes are necessary. Some of you guys, you're going to have to cause this tower on your own. It might turn your life upside down. You, I don't know if you're ready. Are you ready? Some of y'all. Some of y'all ain't ready. This will really get you where you need to go. It's just not easy. This is a... It ain't easy. So now everybody's ready to turn that cart upside down. No. That scares people. It scares people. Yes, it does. Lovers. You have to make uh, an objective decision. Okay? This is being able to make a decision out of let, let's just say morally correct take a look at both sides remove your emotions from this okay because a lot of you is all about how you feel about a person you're gonna have to clear that this is um a gemini card Ooh, look at this this one's in reverse though this is okay this is going to be one of those things. It's a head over heart decision. Whew. I don't know. There's a connection that you might have to flip upside down. So that you can go get the real, the true divine partner. Some of y'all are not ready to do that. You're scared. It's a fear. Or you might have to flip that relationship in reverse in order to bring it back in a pure manner. Oh, gosh. Okay. I, I don't see things moving forward until you, this whatever this change that's needed in the connection, unless that happens, you have to take control here. Take control, take some action. Eight of Wands. You're going to have to. Be in the driver's seat. Take the wheel. That's when the new... That's when it happens. Oh, gosh. That's when you can fix things. That's when it starts brand new. You got to go through that cleansing, y'all. Ace of Cups here. You got to go through the cleansing. Then you get your... Oh, wow. You got Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. That's when the passion comes back in. In the right way. Some of y'all got to let go in order to gain. Whether this be letting go of another connection that's no longer working that you're holding on to so that you can be with the right one or let go of the one you with right now, even though you know they're the right one, but you know that it's not going good. You might have to let go just so it could come back the right way. Otherwise, you're going to be hanging. This is self-sacrifice. This is someone who doesn't understand the big picture, doesn't really see what's happening. You see surface level. You don't understand the magnitude of change you can do when you stop trying to force things and you just let things happen. Gosh, I'm getting a fearful energy of letting go of this. Some of y'all, you can't let go. Even if you're not receiving back what you're getting, you can't let go. You need to carry this around. Even though this thing is a lot of trouble to fit in your car. Some of you don't even have a car. You got to walk with it everywhere you go. You still want to carry it because it's, for some reason, it makes you feel comfortable. Even if this is a toxic part of your life or to it brings toxicity into your life. It puts you out of balance. It leaves you hanging. You're always in self-defense mode. Nothing happens. Eight of Wands is supposed to be swift movement. Things happen in communication. Shifts need to happen before you can bring this in. Okay? Before you can bring this in, that's on its way to you, Aquarius. It's on its way, but whatever it is that you hold on to, getting a stubborn energy here. 
Uh, it's blocking the brand new beginning. Brand new passionate beginning. There's a lot of passion in this connection. That's what I'm getting. Well, let's see what the um, messages are. You you have red flags here. So the soul messages. Let's see what their soul is saying, telling your soul and vice versa. You have one card there. I may not express it to you, but I uh, look up to you. You have somebody who really sees the value that you bring into their life. They may not tell you this, but they really do put you on a pedestal. Pay close attention to what I say because there are many coded messages when I speak to you. I'm telling y'all. They, they pay attention to the red flags. How do you, this person, one way or another, they disclose what was going to happen in this connection. You may have ignored it. You may have, you know, purposely tried to act like, oh, no, you know. Okay, now, a lot of y'all are getting that kind of message right now. Almost, it's like, you know, this was disclosed. You, you should have been able to pick up the red flags when I sent them to you. Okay, some of you, you started a relationship with someone who was already in a relationship. Basically, they're telling you, I'm not usually uh, into that monogamy thing. Now, what you picking up when you pick it up? Here, don't wait for me because I have a lot of work to do. Y'all got somebody who, whew, they know they're the problem. They know they got a lot of work to do. And this is also an of someone who's not ready to face it. This could be you, them saying this to you. Hence, you're not ready for it yet. I love that you finally walked away because it means that you've elevated to the next level. Come on, y'all. When one person elevates, the other one is motivated to elevate. Take control of that emperor energy. Okay, Aries showing up. The separation is a part of my our path because that's when you're supposed to be doing that self-work. Not only did they love that you walked away because you were elevating, it helped them heal. It was healing for me. When you finally stood up for yourself, because that, that shows them that you have boundaries. It motivates the other person when one person stands up. When a person continues to be a doormat or allow things to happen, sets no boundaries, it keeps an unhealthy cycle. Once one person in the situation starts setting boundaries, it changes the dynamic of the connection. But if y'all are okay with the imbalance, no reciprocity, giving too much and not receiving, in and out type of energy, inconsistency, and also at the same time, a lot of chaotic energy here. Where there's always a problem, always fighting or arguing. If you're, if that's something you become accustomed to and you don't change the situation, it only gets worse. Be aware of that. Okay, I feel like balance is trying to happen here. All right, we're going to do the extended for y'all and see what else they want to add to this. I'm not going to shuffle this. I'm just going to keep going from the top, okay? All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, I really hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. I saw your worth and wanted you to see it too, which is why I had to show up that way. Some people, some some of y'all, your person came in to trigger you. Trigger you just so that you can leave them and let the universe know that you do not stand for whatever that was that the person was trying to give you. This is how you, this is manifestation. Okay, if something happens and you set boundaries immediately, that will not happen again. If something happens, you don't set boundaries, oh, it's, going, it's bound to happen again. 